Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. So we have to prove that for any positive integer n, limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a is n a to the power n minus 1. Let's first find the value of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a. Let's divide this. So we'll write like this, this is x minus a, this divides by x to the power n minus a to the power n, right? So if you divide x minus a by this, what you get is x to the power n minus 1, because x minus 1, x to the power n minus 1 into x equal to x to the power n, you want to cancel this, correct? So x into x to the power n minus 1, you get x to the power n minus a into x to the power n minus 1 you get minus a into x to the power n minus 1. Cancel this, this you get a x to the power n minus 1 minus a to the power n. Again what we have to do, again we have to multiply this with a x to the power n minus 2, correct? Because a into x to the power n minus 2 into x will be this we have to cancel this, so this we get a x to the power n minus 2. So this a into x to the power n minus 2 into x, you get a x to the power n minus 1, correct? And a into this a x to the power n minus 2, what you get is minus a square x to the power n minus, correct? This gets cancelled. What you get here? Here you get a square x n minus 2 minus a to the power n. Again, we have to multiply this with a square x n minus 3. Why? Because a, a square into x to the power n minus 3 into x is equal to a square x into n minus 2. You have to cancel this. So what we get is this x n minus 2 minus what you will get? This time you will get is a cube x n minus 3. Again, if you cancel this, what you get is a cube x n minus 3 minus a. Similarly, you keep doing this because this value n will decrease. You see there is a pattern here. This was n minus 1, this was n minus 2, this is n minus 3. There is a pattern here. So if you see right, this is a pattern here and the last number if you want to multiply this will be nothing but a to the power n minus 1. Why? Because a to the power n minus 1, if you multiply this term will go, correct? a to the power n minus 1 into minus a that will become a to the power n. This term will go. And similarly this term will also, correct? I'll show you. We'll divide with uh, a to the power n minus 1. So what you get here is, you get here is a x or a to the power n x minus a to the power n. This is a to the power n minus 1. This and this case cancel and this if you see if you say dot 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 it keeps it will keep getting cancelled. If you keep uh, taking the values of a to the power 3, a to the power 4, a to the power 5 till a to the power n this will keep getting cancelled. So this becomes 0. So if you see x minus a so we can say that x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a both n are same actually is nothing but x to the power n minus 1 plus a x to the power n minus 2 plus a square x n minus 3 dot 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 just continues till a to the power n minus 1 that is power of x will decrease by 1 and power of a will decrease by 1 this keep happening this is the value of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a. Now we have to find the limit, limit of x tends to a. So here also we'll put limit actually. This right hand it also will say limit of x tends to a. We'll put the value of limit x tends to a. So this will become a to the power n minus 1 because if you put x is equal to a this becomes a to the power n minus 1 plus a into x to the power n minus 2 will become a to the power n minus 2. Correct? plus a square into x to the power n minus 3 will become a to the power n minus 3 plus a to the power n minus 1. 
So what we get here is, this is n minus 2 here. So what we get here is 8 to the power n minus 1 plus 8 to the power n minus 1 plus 8 to the power n minus 1 plus 8 to the power n minus 1. And these are n times actually. If you see same values are n times, so this becomes n into 8 to the power n minus 1. Why it is n times? If you see, we started with x to the power or a to the power 0, this was a to the power 0, a to the power 0 to a to the power n minus 1. So it is n minus 1 minus 1, that is a plus 1, so it's n n term because from 0, if you see from 0 to n minus 1. So they are n terms totally. a to the power 0 to a to the power n minus 1. So this is the value. Actually, both the n's are same, so I'll make it with capital or small. So if you see, that is what we are supposed to prove limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a where x changes to a is n a to the power n minus 1. Very simple what we have done we have just divided x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a and we found that this value came out to be a to the power 0 x to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power 1 x minus n minus 2 plus a to the power 2 x to the power n minus 3 dot 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 a to the power n minus 1 and this we can say x to the power 0. So that is we observe that the power of a is increasing by 1 and power of x is decreasing by 1 and then since we wanted to find the value of x tends to a so we have put x equal to a here and we have got this value as n a to the power n minus 1. Here we have to find this value limit of x to the power 15 minus 1 by x to the power limit of x to the power 15 minus 1 by x to the power 10 minus 1 where x tends to 1. If we we'll put the value of 1 here what we will get 1 to the x equal to 1 but we get x 1 to the power 1 minus 1 by 1 to the power 1 minus 1 that is 0 by 0. Since it is 0 by 0 form we know that we can somehow solve it by cancelling the factors which make it 0. So what we can do now is we can write this limit of x minus 1 x to the power 15 minus 1 in this form. We will multiply and divide by x minus 1. I will tell you why we are doing it. Because just now we have learned that limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a is equal to n a to the power n minus 1, where x tends to a. So here if you see a is nothing but 1. So we have this formula, we know the value of this thing. So what we can write this as, this whole thing is nothing but limit of x tends to 1, x to the power 15 minus 1 by x minus 1 into limit of x tends to x minus 1 by x to the power 10 minus 1. This also we can do because we can associate this. So this law is true. Limit of a b is equal to limit of a into limit of b. The multiplication property holds true for limit. Now we know that limit of x to the power 15 minus 1 by x minus 1 will be equal to this where here a is equal to 1 and n is equal to 15. Correct. So this value will be n is equal to 15 into a is equal to 1 to the power 15 minus 1. Correct. Into 1 by, if you see the value of this will be uh, 1 by n will be here 10, a is again 1 and n is again 10. So 10 minus this is the value we will get. What we have done, we have simply used this formula limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a is nothing but n a to the power n minus 1. Correct? In this case, a is equal to 1. So what we have got is 15 in by 10 because 1 to the power 15 minus 1 this becomes 1 and this also becomes 1. 15 by 10 or we can uh, cancel the 5 thing. So this becomes 3 by 2 and that is our answer. So the value of this expression is nothing but 3 by 2 and that's the form. So what we have done, first we have just put the value of x equal to 1 and we have seen that this equation is, the, is of the form 0 by 0. That means we can do something for this. We can find some factor of this x to, uh, this whole equation which is, cancel, which is making it 0 and that was nothing but x minus 1. So explicitly we wrote x minus 1. We have divided and multiplied the whole thing by x minus 1. To write this form in this equation, x to the power 15 minus 1 by x minus 1, because we know that 
for a general form x minus x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a limit x tends to a is equal to n a to the power n minus 1. We know this formula and we have applied this formula to get the answer. We will do some more examples. In this example, we have to find the value of this 1 plus x root minus 1 by x and where x tends to 0. So what we can do first thing, we will say x equal to 0 and we will find the value. This comes out to be root of 1 plus 0 minus 1 by 0 that is 0 by 0 form. Since it is 0 by 0 form, we know that we can try to refactor the whole thing and cancel the uh, portion which is making it 0 by 0 form. So what we'll do, we'll write in this form, this becomes 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus x minus, correct? Limit of x tends to, or we can write this in this form, 1 plus x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 limit of x plus 1 tends to 1. See when I say limits of x tends to 0 or if I add both side 1 this becomes limits of x plus 1 tends to 1 both are same actually. Why I have done? Because I know this formula x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus n a where limit x tends to a, this value I know, this becomes n a to the power n minus 1, correct? This value I know. So here x should tend to a. So if you compare these two equations, x is nothing but 1 plus x, correct? This x is nothing but this 1 plus x. a is nothing but 1. So if you see here all the place, this is a, this is a1, this is a, this is a1. This is a, this is a, all the places. a is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 plus x. If you see, this is equal to 1 plus x, this is equal to 1 plus x. Right? This is x, this is x. And n, if you see, is nothing but 1 by. So we have all this value x, a, and n. Correct? That's why we have written this in this form because we wanted to use this formula. So in this formula, x is tending to a. So here it is x plus 1 is, is limiting to. 1 and this is x minus a so this becomes x 1 plus x minus 1 so if you compare these two equations x is nothing but 1 plus x a is nothing but 1 and n is nothing but 1 by 2 so very simple now we can use this formula the formula says its value is nothing but n a to the power n minus 1 right now n is nothing but 1 by 2 a is nothing but 1 and n minus 1 will be 1 by 2 minus 1, that is minus 1 by 2. But 1 to the power minus 1 by 2 doesn't make, uh, is also 1. So this becomes 1 by 2. And that is the answer. Very simple, what we have done? We have just converted this equation in the form of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a, where x is limiting to a. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.